because fossil fuels take such a long time to actually you know, build up in the, in the earth, we have a constraint on how much we can use. And there is a deadline by which they will run out. And so we try to take uh, things like waste and leaves and trees, uh, convert this into renewable fuels and chemicals. And by doing that, we effectively capture the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere through photosynthesis. The challenge for us is how to break down the complicated networks of biomass that exists in nature and into the elements that we can work with in the current chemical industry and into something we can use in the society. First of all, we need to go from biomass to something that is easier to process. Something like sugar. That would be the same process that a goat would use out in the fields. We use hydrogen and the catalyst to go from something that looks like sugar to something that looks like gasoline. So essentially what we're trying to do is find a chemical goat. With computational tools, we can be far more precise. We can start answering questions, you know, what is the most important step? in the reaction, if you have a hundred different steps. What's the most important step to focus on? And then try to design a catalyst that will help with that step. So by means of catalyst, we can produce fuels and plastics, not by using the earth resources, but by making earth a favor, converting our waste into these valuable chemicals. With any renewable energy resource, there are challenges, but there are much more advantages to be obtained from biomass that it is worth investing time and money and research into. And which is why I'm here, and which is why we are here.